What's up you guys? We're back with another video. So this is my update on my record collection. I just get the the money or something on YouTube. I'm gonna use these again. Pretty cool. You made your pictures in the right. You like a lot. They're cool to you. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into this. So this is my an update on my record collection. So this one is Lives Outgrown by Beth Gibbons. This is a solo album she did. Most well known for being in the highly influential posts, like um, weird border set, their trip hop group. This one's a more of an avant folk, progressive folk, psychedelic folk direction. It's still really good. I wouldn't say it's as good as any of the border set albums, but it's still quite good. I like it a lot. I won't take it out because it's black, but. I would say it's probably the, the most experimental quarter set related release, unless you count third, I'd probably say. Third is probably my favorite quarter set release. Um, but anyways, this is really good. I like it a lot. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites of the year, but I still like it. It's one of the, considered, like, a lot of people are considering this to be one of the best releases of the year. I don't really, I think it's, I love it, but it, yeah, I do think it's getting a bit too much hype, but it's still really good. Next, we have Con Was Well by Maruja, the new EP by Maruja. I think their previous EP is a lot better. This is still really good. Kind of wish they would have just released it as a first and second EP as a whole album. Would have been really good, but you know, that's yeah, fine. They're from England, they're a post rock group. And uh, it has an intro. I guess it says five songs, but one. It's really good. Uh, I like it a lot, and it's one of my favorite EPs of the 2020 so far. I wonder if they're going to release an album next, another EP. In the next. next, we have Brat by Charlie XCX, which I really, really like. I really love um, this album, uh, Brat. And uh, the packaging is very minimalistic. Um, this might be my favorite release she's done. Definitely easily one of my favorites of the year. Um, kind of has a minimalistic look. This is like a little lyric sheet thing. You see? And in this, and in this, and in this. Yeah, but I really like this a lot. It's very club oriented. It's just a lot of really catchy tunes. Some sadder moments on this, like So I, which is a song about Sophie who unfortunately passed away. This is kind of where um, Side B is at the slide of the picture. Charlie also shows herself as a really great vocalist on this too. It's a really good release of Next up, we have Unsilent Death by Nails. They're a grindcore, thrashcore band from California. This album's only 17 minutes, but it also includes like some bonus tracks on the B side. This is um, one of my favorite metal releases of the 2010s. I really love this album. I've been listening to it a lot lately. Um, Definitely one of, probably my favorite, well, I wouldn't say it's my favorite grindcore release, but it's one of my favorites. My favorite grindcore release is probably Contrasted by Fantastic, um, but this is still really, really good. I really like it. And, uh, very heavy, very head banging, just uh, overall just a really good release. release I wish it was just a bit longer because it's only 17 minutes, but it's really good. All right, and last, we have Umbilical by Bow. Louisiana sludge metal band. And uh, this is definitely my favorite album Bow has done. This is easily the best thing they've done. Um, really, really like it a lot. Very heavy. 
happy, very angry. And this is a uh, gold. Gold thing. Twenty twenty four, and it could fit really good for a metal. It's like a little seven inch. As the two songs that would have gone to the what's the B side of this album on the MP3 version. I don't know why they decided to do that. I thought it was gonna be like. Uh, bonus songs, but I guess not. I guess it's kind of cool when it comes with a seven inch, it kind of feels like it's a bit of a short. Because what I feel like I got to do is I got to, after I play the A side, I play the seven inch, and then I just play the B side. But I don't know. Yeah, that's alright though. If you kind of look here, it kind of says you're idling. Obviously, it's not right here. Yeah. Cover kind of looks like it'd be like an indie, indie pop album or something. You don't get the vibe of the sludge metal record of the cover, but. It definitely is, and it's quiet. 